West Bengal. Ten points have been selected to install CCTV cameras, this in the Jadavpur University campus. Which are the 10 points is still not clear, but the VC has signed an order of these CCTV cameras. University has already been having talks with ISRO as per direction of Chancellor C.V. Anand Bose and the RFID or AI. Uh, all those methods will be used in the campus in various formats. The university fact-finding committee has also submitted a report. Sources are saying that this report also mentions that the 17-year-old boy who committed suicide was ragged and harassed. For more details, let's quickly go across to our correspondent Kamalika Sen Gupta is joining me with more details. Kamalika, at a time, everybody is discussing how ragging needs to be addressed at the grass root level. Uh, is it not important to establish the fact that surveillance alone will not cure the problem of ragging and harassment on university campuses? Well, definitely it's a big question and that is why counselling of students from 10, 11, 12 is required. That's what is coming out from, you know, various circles. So, uh, in Jadapur University, uh, whether this type of, uh, whether this type of counselling will be there or not, or whether there will be a system from uh, class 10, that is to be seen what the government does, that is to be seen. But in university right now, because in the last incident, this activity actually created a surge. The problem of the police was identification right. because there was CCTV. So the CCTV requirement too is there. Finally, uh, the CCTV is going to set, uh, going to be installed in Jadavpur. Though one section of students, they are still not in uh, favor of CCTV. Now, apart from CCTV, like the chancellor, the governor has also spoken to East Row. And uh, with the help of artificial intelligence or RIFD technology, right. how that can be done, that is also seen. But obviously, it lies, this problem lies in the root. So definitely, counselling is something which is very much. All important. right, Penny, thanks to Kamalika for bringing in all those details.